After a multiplayer game has been in the wild for a considerable number of months, a meta forms and the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay becomes predictable. Even in a game as wild as Titanfall 2, that's been the case, until now. The addition of a 7th Titan chassis has shaken up the game in some good ways and some bad, so let's talk about it. My first impressions of Monarch are very positive. She feels very different from all the other Titans, and she feels a lot more like a character from a hero shooter or from League of Legends than an actual Titan, which is, I think, what they were going for with the other Titans because of the specific loadouts and the special abilities that each Titan has, but it feels more the case with Monarch because of the synergy that her abilities have with one another, right? It's, it's sort of like how Scorch, he's got his, his flame traps and his firewall and he can kind of combo those together to do cool things, but the synergy with Energy Siphon, Rocket Salvo, and Rearm, it is almost exactly like what I would see or what anyone would see in a character in League of Legends. You do your combo and then you reset and then you do your combo again and, and, and that's how you get your damage out. And that is exactly how Monarch feels. And I could just as easily see something like this Titan in a game like Overwatch, like Lawbreakers or even League of Legends. But the question is, does this work in the gameplay structure of Titanfall 2? And the answer for me is sort of. And the reason it's sort of and not a definitive yes or no is because the Titan, it's not overpowered and it's, it doesn't feel completely foreign to what we already know, but it does, it does take a shit on the fundamentals that Titanfall 2's Titan combat was designed around. If you were, we were following the game back before it launched, you know, in the, in the early days of October 2016, a lot of people had their nipples twisted up because Titans did not have regenerating shields. And that was a, a big thing for a lot of fans of the original game to get used to, but you know, after it's been out for six or five or six months or whatever, it, that's just kind of how it is, and it feels okay. It feels perfectly fine, actually. But Monarch, she has the ability to constantly refresh and regenerate her shields, which gives her a tremendous advantage over every other Titan in the game. And add to that, she has a special kit that allows her to steal a battery when she executes enemy Titans to further increase her survivability, and her core ability grants her a full charge on her shield. So she's got three, she's got potentially three ways to regenerate her shields, which makes her feel like a Titan straight out of Titanfall 1. And that's pretty cool, but it doesn't mesh well with the way all of the other Titans in the game function. I'll put it to you this way. Monarch is always at an advantage over every other Titan from a neutral position. So if in a one versus one scenario, if you don't have core and your opponent doesn't have core and you're just slugging it out, Monarch will always have the advantage because she can constantly give herself extra mitigation through her abilities. And... It's, it doesn't necessarily feel good to fight against that, right? I've, I've played as other Titans, and I've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Monarchs, and it never feels good to see her just generate shields out of nowhere, and then, you know, you whittle it down again, and then her core is ready, so she gets a full shield. And it just it just continues to to, to stack on, on top of itself. It, it, it doesn't feel good to fight against it. It feels really great to play, but being on the opposite end of that doesn't necessarily feel right and don't get me wrong i'm not sitting here saying that there's absolutely no counterplay for monarch and oh my god she's unstoppable none of that shit just just fucking calm down before you start leaving a whole bunch of comments about how i need to get good at the game fuck off right what i'm trying to say is that monarch sort of breaks what titanfall 2 was supposed to be it, it, it's going against the grain of the fundamentals of that, that have been established from from the game's launch. And, and it just, it feels a little bit off. And, and, and as someone that thoroughly enjoyed all of the design changes that were made in Titanfall, in the transition from Titanfall 1 to Titanfall 2, this Titan feels more like it belongs in the first game. And for me, that's not a good thing. And, and the reason is because it can generate its own shields without any input from batteries from another pilot bringing you a battery you just do it all yourself and i i did like the 
aspect of all right if if i want to restore my health i've got to steal a battery and bring it to m back to my titan or i've got to get a teammate to do that for me but now you can do it all yourself and it 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 brings titans to this place where they do feel unstoppable whereas all of the other titan chassis they feel a lot more manageable because you can kind of as a pilot you can just plink them down slowly but surely and you know every time you land a grenade they're losing a little bit of health but if it's monarch she's gonna have a shield you get some grenades on her she kills you then there's another enemy titan zap zap she gets some shields back you can also zap reapers to get shields so in attrition that's a thing there's just so many ways for her to be self-sufficient and that makes her more tanky than the heaviest titan chassis which also is is a bit imbalanced but to to sum it all up monarch is is a really cool titan she feels very innovative i like the way her abilities synergize together and she's a lot of fun to play but playing against her does not feel totally right and again she's not overpowered she doesn't feel completely broken or unfair or, or or anything like that but she does feel like she belongs in a different game titanfall one overwatch lawbreakers it just the way her abilities work it feels just unfair to to the other titans in in a sort of closed environment and 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 e even worse than that when the fact that ricochet rounds is still a thing for for ronin like come on give the give the give the brother some love right it, it, there are still a a bunch of titan kits that feel like absolute dog shit on the other titans and then monarch comes around where just just at a glance i haven't had a chance to play with all of her kits and, and see the synergy between them but it does feel like everything she has is viable in some way. Whereas if you play Ronin and you take ricochet rounds, you are an idiot. There is never a good time to use ricochet rounds. Sure, you know, there's a pilot in a building and I shot the wall and a kid. Like, that's just like some really weird edge case where that has a function. And, and, and the same goes for, for, for other Titan kits in the game. Piercing shot on North Star has almost zero functionality but all of the titan kits for monarch feel like they do have a practical application and they augment the way the titan plays and you know th th that's not to say every titan needs some sort of an overhaul or a tweak because if, if you look at uh scorch his, his kits with the exception of scorched earth all of his kits feel really good but you know the th Look, I'm jealous, man. I'm jealous that my some of my favorite Titans didn't get no love, and now this butterfly bitch flying around killing everybody. It's not fair. It's not fair, okay? But seriously, though, these are just first impressions. You can keep your underwear on. Maybe my opinions will change after playing with Monarch a little bit more. Maybe they won't. So let me know in the comments what you think about the newest Titan added to Titanfall 2. As always, the name of the game... Come on, I just said it. It's Titanfall 2. The name of the channel is iBlueAirJGR Gaming for Comedy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.